y'all and welcome to part three of my fall clean and decorate videos. I've decorated in my kitchen and my living room and today we're going to be focused on my master bedroom but first we're going to be starting out with some banana oat muffins. I'm personally not the biggest fan of bananas but my kiddos love these so I will leave the recipe to these down below in my description box. I am so excited for today's video because I love to make my room a cozy space to relax and unwind after my kids go to bed. So we're going to be adding some flannel sheets, lots of warm lighting, pumpkins and garlands. So let's go ahead and get these muffins in the oven so we can head to the bedroom to decorate. And if you are new around here, my name is Marie. I'm a mama of four kids and I love creating videos about homemaking and cleaning and decorating and mom life. We moved into this house last September, so it's almost been a whole year and I have loved decorating my house and making each room cozy. And for this fall season, I've been having so much fun making our home inviting for the fall season. And I'm also so excited to decorate for Christmas. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all of the content. These muffins are so easy to whip up really quickly for breakfast or for snacks for your kids. So you just mix all the ingredients in a bowl all together, add them into muffin tins and pop those in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You can make these ahead of time for those back to school mornings and it is the perfect breakfast and the perfect after school snack. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be focused on my fall bedroom. I'm so excited to get my bedroom cozy for the fall. I know it's not quite fall yet, but I love to decorate my house room by room to get, get it ready for the fall so that when fall's here, all we have to do is sit back and relax and enjoy it. Once the kiddos go back to school, they go back the very beginning of August, like the first week. Once they go back, it really just starts feeling like time to get ready for fall, prepping for back to school and all of the upcoming holidays. I'm so excited for the holidays this year. I'm gonna be decorating with lots of pops of neutrals and brown tones and golds. And I also wanna let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Rebecca. She has the best home decorating ideas. I always get inspiration from her. I love her decorating tips and ideas. And she has the sweetest little doggy named Holstein that you guys will absolutely fall in love with. I'm gonna leave Rebecca's channel linked down below in my description box so that you guys can head over and leave her a comment and let her know that I sent you. And definitely make sure you check out her videos because they are so calming and relaxing to watch. And I just love her as a person and I love her channel. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I live in Canada with my sweet puppy Holstein and my husband Chris. I've been on YouTube now almost two years and I love to create cozy welcoming spaces for every season. I would have to say fall is definitely my favorite, all the textures, the pumpkins, the warm wood tones and of course the ambient lighting. I would love once you're done watching Marie's video if you would come to my channel and say hi. We would love to have you. I do post videos every Monday and sometimes I do pop up videos and my style is definitely very traditional with a little mix of boho. So I'd love to see you there. Take care. So I'm actually in the middle of filming my video and I thought I would stop really quick and do an intro. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm just starting off with stripping down our bed. I'm gonna be putting some cozy flannel sheets on. My favorite part of getting my bedroom ready for fall is putting on those flannel sheets and making my bed super cozy with lots of pillows. 
And I'm also gonna be adding some garland above our headboard. So the sheets that I got for my bed this year are actually from Walmart. The sheets that I've been using, I've had them for a few years, so I wanted to change it up this year. The sheets are incredibly soft. I love browns and neutrals and traditional colors for the fall. And I'm also gonna be cleaning up in our room because there is just stuff everywhere. My husband had some stuff piled up on his side of the room. I had some of my daughter's clothes piled up on my side of the room. Water bottles and lotions and all the things on our nightstands. And I also had my front porch decor over here piled up. I need to go and put that back in the tote until I'm ready to decorate my front porch. I plan on decorating my front porch very soon, so definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. I noticed the other day that my headboard was disgusting. It had dust all over it, but dust can accumulate so fast in homes and I do try to vacuum this occasionally. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my vacuum cleaner and get all this dust cleaned up. I almost feel like this video is turning into a dust with me instead of a decorate with me <laughs> because my bedroom just seemed so dusty this day and I wanted to take care of this whole room. So tonight when my husband and I laid in the bed to watch Netflix and wind down, I wanted it to be dust free, clean, relaxing, and smell good. So we are gonna take care of this whole room and get all of this dust out of here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my sheets on the bed. I wanted to get all of this dust taken care of before I got my bedding put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my sheets put on the bed and I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick that I've been doing to put my pillowcases on. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does help getting that pillowcase on quicker and easier. And I do have a mattress protector on my bed. I keep one on all of our beds in my whole house. It protects your mattress from dust and any spills. If your baby gets in the bed with you and their diaper leaks or they spill their sippy cup, then the mattress will be protected. But I love the color of these sheets. I feel like they're super neutral and I just love how warm and cozy these are they're really good quality so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my flat sheet on you guys we do not even use the flat sheet i just kind of put it on the bed because it goes with the set but we actually don't cover up with the flat sheet i just kind of keep it up at the top of the bed and tuck it under with the fitted sheet My favorite place ever to get garlands is 100% Hobby Lobby. They always have the best quality ones that I can find. So the one that I put on my headboard, I have a matching one that I'm gonna be putting on my dresser in front of my TV. And it's actually on a thick birch wood. So it's weighted and amazing quality. So I just kind of tucked it between the wall and the back of the headboard to make sure it don't fall. And this is my little trick of how I put my pillows on. So I just take the pillowcase inside out. I put my hands all the way to the corners and then grab the corners of the pillow and then pull it over the pillow. And like I said, y'all, this isn't like a super amazing thing, but it does help to get that pillowcase on easier than trying to fight with the pillow. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make up my bed and I absolutely love how cozy and inviting my bed looked when I was finished with it. I'm actually gonna be adding a cozy throw blanket at the end of the bed with a little tray and add some decor to it as well. But I hope you guys can find some inspiration and decorating ideas from my video today. It also makes me wanna get up in the morning and make up my bed because it just looks so beautiful. As y'all know, I've been getting rid of my feather pillows because I've learned that I really enjoy the cotton pillows so much more. And I've learned that I can find cotton pillows that have a lot of give in them so you can still karate chop them without feathers being all over your house all the time. 
So I found all three of those throw pillows from TJ Maxx. And then I found this cozy throw from Amazon and it is so soft. I love the color of it. So I'm just adding my little white tray to it that I had on my foot bench. And here in just a minute, we're gonna add some cozy decor. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arm. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm It's funny how when you purchase something for a specific space and then you try it there and you don't like it. So I was actually gonna switch out these candles. They are the LED flickering light candles for some different ones, but I ended up loving these so much more just where they were at. They were bigger than the other ones. And also these have a remote so I can lay in bed and turn them on and off without having to get up. So this garland I'm putting in front of my TV is the same one on my headboard over the TV. It has pops of gold, browns, and also little pops of muted traditional colors. So I love the color of these garlands and I wanted to get matching ones because I feel like it would just look the best and tie everything in together. I had no idea how I was going to decorate this tray until today. So the wreath that I'm putting the little candle in was actually a wreath that I was going to use on top of the candlesticks beside my TV, but they clash too harshly with the garland that I put on my dresser. So I thought that I would use it on my bed and the traditional colored wreath looked really good on the bed. So I'm just adding these wonky pumpkins. When I did a haul, that's how I referred to these pumpkins is wonky. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cozy candles and then we are going to get this TV dusted. And next we are going to head into my bathroom and clean in there and do a little bit of decorating on my makeup table. So I just added two pumpkins to our nightstands and I'm going to add my pumpkin pecan waffles candle to my nightstand. I also have this one in my kitchen and it smells amazing from Bath and Body Works. I found this really cute stack of pumpkins from TJ Maxx and I was originally going to use it on my front porch but then I thought it would look so cute over here by my mirror. Now we're headed into my bathroom and I'm going to take everything off of my makeup vanity. We're going to wipe it down. There's actually a spot on this makeup table where I put a cotton ball that had alcohol on it and it actually ate through the paint. So I'm not sure what kind of paint I can use to paint over this. If you know, you can let me know. But I don't want it to look really bad if I go to paint over it. But I need to do something because it looks terrible. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my makeup table, clean my mirror, and put some more decor on. We're going to take off all that summer decor and put on some fall decor. Add lots of pops of these bronze colors. I'm also going to be adding another one of those traditional colored wreaths with a glass pumpkin in the middle. But everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us, and we will help you through. Cause we only want what's best. So I actually found that tray at Goodwill. The candle is from TJ Maxx clearance for $4. The wreath is the same one that I used on my bed and those came from Hobby Lobby for 40% off. So they were super cheap. And then the bronze vase, I got that from Goodwill for like two bucks. And the pampas grass is from TJ Maxx. I believe I got that I think last year. So I'm just gonna quickly clean up in my bathroom. I'm gonna clean the mirror and the sink and I'm gonna put a pop of orange. It's like a 
fall color hand towel I'm putting out. I think it's more of like a yellow, like a mustard yellow orangish. <laughs> and then I'm going to change out my toothbrush holder from this pink to this mason jar because the pink just clashed so harshly with the fall colors. And then I'm going to be adding a little riser with a little pumpkin on it and my Bath and Body Works hand soap. This stuff smells so good. It's the pumpkin apple scent. And I love to shop Bath and Body Works sales because shopping in that store is just so therapeutic. So I'm always checking online to see when they're having a sale so I can go snatch me up some goodies. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. Walk through the rain with me Get soaked to the skin, feel free Shut And last but not least, I'm going to do a quick vacuum in my bedroom and in the bathroom And then I'm going to show you guys all of the afters And I'm going to put a cozy fireplace scenery up on my TV And it really just tied everything together I loved coming to bed this night when everything smelled good, was freshly cleaned I love crawling in the bed with flannel sheets in the fall It is so cozy I will link my sheets down below if y'all are interested in those. They're not affiliate, but if you're interested in anything or want to know where anything is from, feel free to ask me down below in the comments and let me know what you think about my room. And if you got any ideas from me, I would love to know. So I was originally going to put a more neutral colored blanket on the end of my bed until I found this one and I just loved the dark fall color of it. I love it so much and I know that I love it so much more than I would have the other one. So for the other blanket, I've just been using it on the couch, but sometimes I use it when I'm editing. So I'm just going to go and drape it over my desk chair and I found that one at TJ Maxx. I love finding my decor at TJ Maxx and if TJ Maxx doesn't have what I need, then I'll just head over to Hobby Lobby. It's pretty much right next door where Goodwill is also right next door to those stores. So I just make a trip to Ross, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and Goodwill. But I love draping a cozy blanket over my desk chair so that when I go to edit, it just looks really inviting and cozy. And I love to keep my desk clean and make it a comfortable space to sit because it's also in our room. I love everything about my room and I feel like all the colors blend together so perfectly. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be the end of my cozy fall bedroom clean and decorate. I hope I gave y'all some decorating ideas. I love the way everything turned out and I cannot wait to wind down and relax in here after the kiddos go to bed tonight. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one.